All right. Love it. Newton's law of cooling. Uh, I tried teaching this to uh, like algebra one kids. That was bad. But for you guys, it's a little bit more appropriate. Okay. Newton's law of cooling states the temperature T of an object at time T can be described by the given equation. T is the temperature of the object. T sub S is the uh, surrounding environment's temperature. T sub zero is the initial temperature. And then K is this random cooling rate, which is different for each solution. It's different for each type of quantity. You have to, in your job as a researcher, go find K. Use the definition of a logarithm along with the properties of logarithms to solve the formula for time T. Okay, cool. This is gonna be extensive. T sub S plus T sub zero minus T sub S times E to the negative KT. And the goal is to get T by itself. Settle in, this one's gonna take at least a couple of lines. First off, I have an addition next to a multiplication of the exponent. Get rid of addition. The goal is to get T by itself. So get rid of things that are added because you always get rid of addition first. So I'm gonna write it with parentheses just to get in the habit for uh, the next step equals. Now, since we subtracted it, T sub zero minus T sub S E to the negative KT. Since we now have a multiplication on the exponent, we're going to use, we got rid of addition working through order of operations in reverse. So no more addition. Now we'll have no more multiplication. We can't do anything here. You can't cross those. These have to exist because there's two things in the denominator. So we can't separate and cross. Leave this as it is. But over here, we're allowed to cancel that out. So a rewrite leads us with E to the negative KT, T minus T sub S over T sub zero minus T sub S. This is our temperature as you know things cool down, the temperature changes of that object. T sub S is its initial, no, surrounding environment, whatever it's on your thermostat on the wall. Same, same thing, the initial amount. We're talking like T, it's like 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to make an exponent travel down to the base level, we have to use the natural log. Well, and I'm using natural log because it's an E right here. We just use logarithms, but natural log is the best choice. Natural log of E will cancel out. So then I have natural log of T minus T sub S over T sub zero minus T sub S equals negative K T natural log of E. Remember the exponent travels to the front. So that's where it is. It's traveled down to the front. Natural log of E goes away. And I'm gonna put a dot, dot, dot because you're literally one step away from what T equals. So you get to go find out what does T equal. One step, one last step. That's number one. I left you with one step left. I guess the nice thing about that too is you can then write a scenario where you say, hey, I pulled my, my kettle you know, filled with water. It's boiling, it's 212 degrees. And I filled up the thing. I wanna know when it's safe to drink at like 140 degrees. How long do I have to let this cup or kettle or whatever sit there. And provided we have enough information, yeah, we can make a prediction. And you gotta let it sit for like five minutes. Yeah, you could do that. That'd be totally fine. Or yeah, and there'd be like a, like a coefficient, right? Okay, I guess I'll fill it in. Negative one over K would do the job. That would look real clean. That would look real clean doing it that way.
All right, I got a uh, 10, 15 appointment and I need to uh, take a little break.